Hey everybody and welcome to the Badcast, official podcast at BadEnoughDudes.com. Uh, I am your host, Will, and with me as most of the time is Shane. I hate escort quests. Yes, and as you can see, this week we are Defenders of the Universe, Woo! and uh, we are escorting a little machine. Did, did it already die? Uh, no, I think we got it to where it needed oh, to go, okay. maybe. I don't know. We're, there's a bunch of civilians, and we got to save them because we're the good guys for yep. something. Something along those lines. We're all nice and crap. So, uh, this is our second time recording this, thanks to my awesome PC. <laughs> so, uh... Clearly, it was just deciding that what we were saying was not good enough quality for you guys. And it exactly. was looking out for you, you know? Yeah. Good looking out computer. Good looking out. So, um, what we're gonna do is get things started. Uh, last night, the VGA, the Spike VGA Awards were announced. So, we're gonna go ahead and go through the list, announce if we agree or we disagree... And so we're going to start things off with best fighting game. God, now there's two escorts. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, anyways. Uh, best, best fighting, fighting game, game is Mortal Kombat, which I agree with. Yeah, yeah, I would agree as well. Um, like you were saying, that I think that, that revitalized a franchise that hadn't had a good entry in a long time. Yeah. And it, made, it, it warmed my heart to be able to uh, crack someone's skull open again. Yeah. And... Uh, I think that, that the, the only real competition that it had was um, the uh, arcade edition from Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4. Right. Um, uh, this is me not having it prepared. So <laughs> basically, uh, since we rebooted, I assumed that it would be up and I lost. It was not. So, uh, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm saving these transports, so it's awesome. Wait, where did I come from? Oh, you're in survivor mode. Okay. All right. Girl. So he, he's playing the girl. I am. Suck that for everybody who says that uh, I never play a woman. <laughs> so I agree with Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah. Best performance by a human female. Ellen McLean, GLaDOS, and Boral 2. Yeah, that's easy. That's, 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 yeah, there's really anything to I, I feel bad for anybody else who was even in the uh, yeah. in the category. Like They, they all knew they weren't going to win. Yeah. Um, best downloadable game, Bastion. Uh, I'm going to have to pretty much agree with that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they put a lot of care and love into that game. And, Definitely. Uh, it showed. I'm just saying, so you know, you are almost dead, so be, I know. be careful. Uh, let's see. Best original score, Bastion. Um, since Andrew reviewed that game, I think he must agree. Yeah, I am certain he does. And best song in the game, the Bastion end title. Right. Which I I would only I would only caveat. I don't know if it was nominated, but the end song to Portal Two was mm -hmm. also phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, Good there's sake. a. Star piece. Yeah. Which we finally figured out the star pieces, they uh, give us extra lives. Exactly. Um, Our first time through, we weren't sure what the point was. Yeah. Best Xbox 360 game, Batman Arkham City. Great game. Great game. Um, I yep. agree that it's a great game, and I, and I agree with your point that you made earlier is why is it best 360 game? Right, yeah. What about, the three, what about it being on the 360 made it any better? Yeah. Like, I, I just don't see the point of console-specific awards anymore. Um, unless you're doing console-specific games like Gears of War or... Um, right, but then it can only be up against other... Exactly. ...other exclusive titles. Otherwise, exactly. it doesn't make any sense. So the title... I mean, the, the, the award should really be Best 360 Exclusive or okay. Best PS3 Exclusive. Yeah. Um, let's see. Best... Man, I missed a couple of these the first time. <laughs> best, best Adapted Video Game. Um, oh, okay. Arkham, Arkham City. Right. Oh, for um, the adaptive work. Yeah. Right. I would have to agree. Um, yeah, just without knowing the nominees off the top of my head. I'm trying yeah. to think of it. You know, Mass Effect would be considered an original franchise. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. All right. I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, best action adventure, Arkham City. I'll agree. Um, I think, man, they kind of swept, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, most anticipated game of 2012, Mass Effect 3. Right. Uh, I'm in agree. I'm in agreement with uh, 
the majority of people. I, I think that that should have won the award, but personally, I am more excited for Twisted Metal. Right. That game <laughs> ate more of my high school life than school did, so uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to root for that one. Yeah. Um. Uh, and I I agree. I'm 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 hotly anticipating it, but the whole EA Origin. Um, Debacle, yeah. which I think I can call it, safely call it a debacle at this point. You really can. Has really turned me off to all, a lot of EA stuff. I, if I do buy it, it'll be on a console. But I really do not like how easily and how um, borderline maliciously EA's staff seems to be willing to just ban you from access of all the games yeah. you've bought. Now I know we, you know, technically we license games, we don't own them, but the intent there is got to be more clear that we have the right to play a game that we buy exactly. and not be banned from it just because we don't say something in a support forum that somebody doesn't like. Yep. You know. And, and you know, like, I, I really think that EA, with its origin, is, is just the beginning of the death of the PC genre. I mean, there, there are multiple reasons why having m more than one platform, aka Steam, is is just a really bad idea and and the yeah basically i think that it's a bad idea i, I think that it should go away. yeah well they're, they're just they're trying to bully their way into a market that they have no no chance of winning yeah. and all they can do is harm themselves and others as a result yeah. uh best ps3 game uncharted which unfortunately i have yet to play any of the games, um, so I can't really announce, you know, say that, but I certainly hope that Infamous 2 was up for a nomination, because that was a lot of fun. Yeah, Infamous 2 was awesome, and I, yep. I agree. Um, let's see here. Best graphics, Uncharted 3 as well. I guess I'll have to agree. That's, I didn't play it. That's kind of, you know, 10 years ago, that category made a lot of sense. These yeah. days, I don't really know... Exactly. You know, I mean, there's so it's such an incremental change from one game to another that yeah. I, I don't see anybody really pushing that. Like, the last game that's wowed me in terms of graphics was L.A. Noir, and that was just because they were using a new kind of facial recognition technology. You know? Yeah, was, exactly. You know, but it wasn't a better-looking game. It was just smoother, you know, expressions. Exactly. Um, I'm going to combine these next two because they really should be. Hmm. Uh, best Wii game and best motion game, Zelda Skyward Sword. <laughs> Best, yeah, how many motion games are there other exactly. than Wii games? The I mean, only thing that I could think of is like the Just Dance series or Gunstringer, yeah. but honestly, yeah. when you're going up against Zelda, sorry, you're yeah. not really going to win you're unless... You're not going to have a chance. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, VGA Hall of Fame, which I don't understand since this game just came out. Uh, S Skyward Sword again. Yeah, again, that's you know that seems very like a marketing thing, but, yeah. you know... That should be a game that, you know, you shouldn't be eligible for the Hall of Fame the year you come out. Exactly. You know? Ask any baseball rookie. That's not how it works. Yeah. Um, best independent game, uh, Minecraft. Right. Uh, and the reason that that is, even though we have heard about it for years, it only officially came out, I think, just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, at Minecon. So. Which, again, you know, is great. Mm -hmm. But I think... That you know, if we were being really fair about it, that that would be Bastion's title. Um, yeah. But this has been a great year for indie games, and um, I think just the fact that they're giving an indie category. Yes. You know, I think as a community, we should all be just happy that that happened. Yeah. You know, and that we're that we're getting there. Um, best. Uh, what is it? Best handheld mobile game oh. is Super Mario 3D Land. Ah. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, I that's guess a game. So. Yeah. Uh, it's basically Super Mario 3D Land, I guess. I, I, I didn't play it that much. I need to verify what year this came out, but in all honesty, Ghost Trick t took a lot of my time. I love oh, the story yeah. and things like that. I think Ghost Trick was 2010, though, because I it remember might have been. a while back. Yeah. But that was a great game. Yeah. Um, but if that's the case, I, sure. Uh, I can't think of many games that ate up much of my time. I, I was going to say uh, Dragon Quest. Yeah. Maybe. But. Uh, Dragon Quest came out last year. Oh, there you go. So, because otherwise I would have completely nominated that. I, I, I would have not nominated. I said that that should have won, but. Yeah. Um. Best sports game, Fight Night Champion. Sure. Uh, okay. I don't play sports games, so. Yeah. I'm a little surprised they didn't just give that to Madden by default. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> I and mean, I'm not complaining. Yeah. 
Uh, best PC game, Portal 2. Sure. I I think, uh, heck, you could say Portal should win best sports game. I'm not sure. Uh, Portal <laughs> uh, versus Yeah, Amazon. yeah, no, I'm not gonna... I, I see no... I see no other real viable alternative there. No. Um, game trailers, trailer of the year, Assassin's Creed Revelations E3 2012. Sure. Um, um okay. So best trailer. Best trailer, yeah. Best trailer. Um, That's an interesting... Um, I don't know. I don't know either because... I I kind of want to give Skyrim's original trailer that, but mm -hmm. that's only because as soon as they said Elder Scrolls, I just had a nerdgasm. Yeah. Um, and and in all honesty, Modern Warfare 3 deserves a really big nod on this because... Ooh, yeah, because, that was a really good trailer. Yeah, I mean, Sam Worthington and uh, Jonah Hill, I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's... Yeah, um... Oh my gosh, I don't know. I, I'm going to say Modern Warfare. I'm sorry, but I mean, really... That was a really good trailer. Yeah, I'll, so, go with, I'll go with you on that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. Best driving game, Forza Motorsport. I would imagine so. I don't. Did Gran Turismo come out this year? I don't uh, know. I don't, did I don't, Gran Turismo actually finally came out? I don't know. I I don't play racing games either, unfortunately. The, the do you play games? Yeah, exactly. No, I can really give you credit. You play like ten times the games I do. <laughs> you know, I I love. I have my few games that I yeah. adore. And then I shun all the rest of the world. I just know my genres, that's all. And then I die. Oh, did you? Alright, I'll, I'll see if I can protect you. Defend Apparently me. I'm almost dead, too. Um, let's see here. Best Shooter, Modern Warfare 3. I, yeah. I'd have to agree, I guess. I mean, I, I know that there's a huge war between Battlefield and Modern Warfare. I own Modern Warfare, so I technically I, have to agree. My, so. I, I've played some Battlefield 3. Um, here's the thing with Battlefield 3 that I don't like is um, our gameplay apparently has gotten into the way of the game designer's uh, brilliant vision of how nice the game should look and how, yeah. how amazing an experience it is. Every time something really cool was happening, they did their best to make sure we wouldn't, didn't, wouldn't mess it up by playing wrong. Yeah. Um, like, even so much as like major cutscene events would happen regardless to whether or not you were... Uh, make sure there. to jump up. You can take this guy to jump. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, oh. Regardless as to whether or not you were actually at the location. Because mm -hmm. they're like, no, we have our ti our important timing, you know, uh, yeah. and then like the, the the vehicle segments in the single player, um, you know, were basically you know on rails mm -hmm. so that you couldn't mess it up. Um, so yeah, I would definitely go with Modern Warfare Three. Um, now this one I saw and I didn't quite understand. I'm guessing that they had a live competition. Um, the what is it? NFL Blitz cover athlete Ray Rice. Sure. I don't, I don't watch <laughs> oh, sports. Oh, the cover, the cover yeah, of, of the, the game. Of the game. Yeah. Really? Do yeah. we really need to? I mean, really? Yeah. We we care about that. Apparently. We, we really. Now, uh, and this once again with sports, best team sports game, NBA 2K12. Oh, as opposed to like the God, as opposed to Tiger Woods solo I guess. sports game. I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the, it's um, team based. Uh, but not team, but not team based as in players, but team based as in there's more than one player on the sports team you're playing. Exactly. Like a team sports game as opposed to, you know, like football as opposed yeah. to a solo sports game like tennis. Yeah. Unless you're playing doubles. <laughs> in which case, I call dibs on Anna Kournikova. Uh, I think she's on uh, Biggest Loser. Really? I think she's a trainer. Oh, okay. I was like, hey, she yeah, got no, fat? No, no, no. <laughs> then never mind. Throw her away. <laughs> uh, no fat chicks. I'm kidding. Gamer God, I, and I'm get, I think this is a, an award that they give out each year to whoever redefines the industry. Oh, to like a like a player? No, oh. uh, to a company. This year was Blizzard. Um, they say basically. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree. Uh, they to, any, to, to anybody who says that Blizzard did not redefine gaming multiple times, right? You don't know what a video game is. Yeah. Um, and pretty much every time they release a game, it it, it changes the genre at which it operates in exactly world of warcraft well warcraft 2 changed demo uh changed rts's uh -huh. um starcraft changed them again yeah. world of warcraft changed mmos diablo changed action adventure right yeah you know. and then starcraft 2 changed mmos or changed rts's again and diablo 3 is set the stage to change um action games again yeah so yeah absolutely you know, uh, you know i love me some blizzard now this one i uh, you know what i, I I will look up before before I say who it is. Um, 
Studio of the Year, Bethesda. Bethesda, hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, that's pretty much hands down. Uh, best RPG, Elder Scrolls. Yep. I'm going to agree with that one. I mean, you can't say one without the other. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the game real quick, just because I need to look up the other nominees <laughs> for this. Um, go ahead and regale them with a the tale of something. <laughs> okay, so um, I this one time I was walking down a street with a peanut, and it was assaulted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this string walks into a bar, and he goes, hey, I, I'd, I'd like a drink. The bartender looks at him and says, we don't serve string here. Get out. And so the string kind of sullenly walks out. And then walks back in ten minutes later wearing a mustache. And he goes, uh, hola, mi amigo, me would like a drink, please. And he goes, a string, I told you, we don't serve string here. Get out. So the string goes out into the sidewalk. And, you know, his disguises haven't worked. So he throws himself onto the ground on the sidewalk, rolls around, just makes a giant mess out of himself, ties himself into just a little knot, and then goes back into the bar and wearily says, uh, can I have a drink, please? And Bartender says, hey, we don't serve string here. You're a string. And he says, no, I'm afraid not. Aww. Yeah, that's right. You like it. You know you like it. <laughs> All right. Character of the year. Uh, the nominees were Drake from Uncharted, Wheatley from Portal 2, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War 3, and the Joker from Arkham City. The winner was Joker. And I agree absolutely hands down. And Joker is voiced by Mark Hamill, right? Yes. It's phenomenal. And the only person that I would think would compete against that would be Wheatley. Yeah, I was going to say, I want I, I, until you said Joker, yeah. I was like, come on, Wheatley. Yep. Come on, Wheatley. Cause he really, I and we I, have to go to the left, I think. Oh, I thought we had to still keep going with the thing. Uh, oh, we got to destroy the power. I'm things. guessing. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got. And then there's the one on the right. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, Mark Hamill is Joker. I mean, yes. Forget Heath Ledger. Forget Jack Nicholson. Mark Hamill is my generation's Joker. Yeah. And finally, game of the year, Skyrim. Um, what? Well, I I have not played it. I will say that I actually purchased it today. But considering the absolutely insane buzz that you cannot turn on the internet without seeing Skyrim somewhere, I'm going to have to agree. So um, I, I was going to buy Skyrim, but then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> um, no, I, I, my roommate has it. I have yet to purchase it simply because of you know, oh, weird, the, the monetary issue. Um, oh, weird. But we're going to lose. What's going to happen? Lose. We lose game over. Um... But yeah, no, I do. If you I, can stay alive and get to your line, though, I can't. I'm, I can't even see myself. Oh, you're I out. don't think I made it. All right, all right, let's see. Um, but yeah, no, Skyrim is a phenomenal game from what I've seen of it, and it lives up every bit to the to the um, Elder Scrolls le uh, line and lineage. So I think it totally deserves it. I mean, you know, you can make a case for a game like Modern Warfare Three being the game of the year, but Modern Warfare Three while a smash hit did not advance the cause of gaming and the I industry did. of gaming in the way that I'm sure um, Skyrim has yes. for many, many people. And yes. it, you know, and it, and it brings brings some interest back to the RPG genre, which yeah. has been lacking with the exception of the Mass Effect series. And the thing is that as, mo as amazing as Modern Warfare is, it's amazing for its multiplayer, not for its story or anything along right. those lines, which... When, when you get down to it, I mean, story is really important to a video game, and, oh my god, I think... No pressure. Yeah, no. I thought I thought that I was like, okay, sweet, I had finished off those two guys, you know, maybe... Oh, man. I need to, I need to focus on this. <laughs> oh, there's three of them? Oh, oh man. I don't think you... I don't think you're gonna make it. I, I don't think so, either. As much faith as I have in you, this, this the deck seems stacked against us here. Um... But yeah, uh, the, it's Modern Warfare is an amazing multiplayer game. I don't think that it's an amazing all-around game because if yeah. you take the title as a whole, it's it's a fifty percent game. I mean, the story is good. Yeah. But it's two hours. It really is. You can beat it in two hours, and so uh, I guess as a as a whole, as a game. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that. That's a short oh, dark though. Yeah, you're hiding, yeah, yeah. hiding behind the uh, rocks there. Oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. All right. Run, run, run. Oh, oh no! So, <laughs> so close. I, I think that that should be a good spot to, to yeah, wrap this up. Our complete abject failure, yeah. I think, is the way to go. So, anyways, that's the list from this year. 
I uh, congrats I to all the winners. Congrats and sorry to all the losers. And we'll have our list up uh, hopefully by the beginning of the year or something like that. So. Yeah. All right. Have a good week, and we will see you next week. Well, blam.